that let's determine the general solution of x in the following equation which equation do we have we have 3 uh, to the 2 tan x minus 3 to the tan x plus 1 being equals to 54. so when i see a question like this i always look for the easy way out right usually the easy way out is writing this 54 in terms of 3 right if you can write that 54 in terms of 3 then you can just you know find a way to drop the basis and then you just work with the exponents but then it's so bad that we cannot do that right so we have to find another way of solving this so let's let uh, so let's see let 3 to the tan x be equals to k right because 3 to the tan x is just a lot to process but then k is just simple and straightforward if we do that we're gonna get in place of 3 to the power 2 tan of x right we're just gonna get k squared right uh, you can work that out and see if it makes sense i think it does and in place of minus 3 to the power tan of x plus 1 so let me break that down for you first right so 3 to the tan x plus 1 is the same as 3 to the tan x multiplied by 3 right so here we're gonna have minus uh, 3 multiplied by k and then that is all equals to 54 right so now we can take 54 to the uh, left hand side we're gonna get k squared minus 3k minus 54 is equals to zero right so now we can factorize this so we have k k is equals to zero so the question i ask myself when i'm factorizing which two numbers do i multiply and get uh this value here minus 54 and then when i add them i get minus 3 right factors of 54 that i can do that with those factors are 9 and 6 right minus 9 and 6 so we have minus 9 and 6 uh so k will be equals to 9 or k is equals to minus 6 but what is k we know fully well that k is 3 to the tan of x and then we also have 3 to the tan of x on this side being equals to minus 6. This part falls away. It's wrong. It cannot be true. So we are only left dealing with that. So 3 to the tan of x will be equals to 3 squared. Now we drop the basis, right? So tan of x is equals to 2, right? Uh, so we can say x is equals to tan arc of 2 right uh, tan arc of 2 is 63.43 degrees but tan of x is not only equals to 2 on that range is equals to 2 every circle it completes at some point of time right so the right way of writing it you say that x is equals to 63.43 plus some constant k multiplied by 180 degrees right and then 180 degrees is the range of tan right and then k should be a whole